Hey guys, uh, we're back out on the boat recording our beginner's fishing series. Uh, we're now crowded out. We've got Max and Adam on the boat fishing with us. They've caught a bunch of fish already today. And yeah, so we're taking them out to do a bit more fishing out on the big boat. And yeah, so I'm going to show you how to rig that. Um, I'm going to be fishing with a 4 inch Yamamoto Senko on my Mojo rig. And it's actually a modified Mojo rig because it's not the traditional where you thread um, spinnerbait skirt through a mojo sinker it's a little bit of an easier one where we just use a bobber stopper so all you need is your bobber stopper uh, or you'll need two of those and your little mojo sinker and a hook whatever size bait you're using you're going to start by putting on your first bobber stopper slide that up the line follow that by your little mojo sinker I'm using a very small little mojo it's just a lead mojo sinker um, it's nice to use the tungstens if you can but lead's fine and it's cheaper and then follow that up your sink up by another little bobber stopper so again you just thread the line through the top and pull your bobber stopper onto the line slide that up you want to get leave a little bit of movement for the sinker so that you can if there's a very sensitive bite as that line slides through the sinker you can feel the bite whereas if you've got it caught up like that and it's maybe caught up on some structure you won't feel the bite as well so leave a little bit of a a little bit of line for that sinker to run on not too much though um, your 2 -oh hook we're just going to connect with the normal polymer knot again so i think you've seen enough of the polymer knot um, if you've watched any of our other videos and yeah again just a Oh, basic polymer knot. To a wide gap gamagatsu. And as mentioned, we're going to pair that up with the 4 inch Senko. 4 inch Senko, really small bait, but so effective. Um, uh, my personal best is caught on a 4 inch little Senko. Just a little bait like that. Uh, super simple. Uh, essential that you keep it nice and straight so make sure the point of the hook goes into the middle of the bait down to about the bend of the hook thread it through and your normal skin rig over there so you want that bait sitting nice and straight i'm gonna fish with a very short mojo rig you can adjust this you can run a longer one short is easier to cast and all that the mojo does other than that different to the Texas is it lets drops the sinker down and the bait gets to drift down and as you lift it up that bait's just like a little bit more free to move so yeah it's a really nice effective way to catch bass let's see if we can catch you some fish on that Don't you want to put him in the live one in case he catches on him? Oh, it's not that good. Did you put that in the live one too? Yeah, I will. That's not quite what's the hole. That's like the one I caught earlier. Yeah. So. Mm. Nice fishy on the mojo. Swallow this stuff. So that's fishing on this outside weed line, eh? Deeper water. That's the best one we've had today. There you go, munched on the mojo rig. Good fishy. So, uh, so as the mojo rig went today, uh, we threw the 4 inch Yamamoto Senko, we used a nice green one again. I always like to throw my greens and that in clean water, which is exactly what we were fishing today. Uh, for that rig, we showed you you need a bobber stopper, a little Mojo Senko, and then for the 4 inch Senko, we paired it up with a 2 0 hook. Uh, this technique was probably our most successful today. Um, obviously it was tough, we were trying to push so many things and show you a bunch of things on the same piece of water all in the same day. So it was challenging, we couldn't really pick when we fished different techniques and that we were really trying to just get the content. But this bait really worked, fishing on the outside deeper lines, even caught fish 
casting it out and I was actually helping one of the juniors from the high school team uh, get out an overline and the bass just obviously swam, I picked up the bait and, and I wasn't even doing anything. That bait was literally lying on the bottom and the fish came and, came and took that. So just proves how good these baits are or how good that technique is. Uh, just patience. Uh, you can never fish a mojo rig too slowly. Um, I would really recommend, especially for beginners, fish that rig super, super slow. Uh, only if you notice that the fish are really biting and hammering down on it, then you can speed up. But today we fished it super slow. I mean, we were casting out and not paying much attention and, and just fishing a deeper weed line. And it was really successful and the bigger fish seemed to be out there. So we didn't catch any giants today at all. But they were good, there were a couple, two, over two pounds, heading for three pound fish on the mojo rig, so that was great. And again, you can fish it in shallow and deep water, so it's a real good all-round technique, and I'd encourage you to get out and give it a go, and I hope what we showed you today helps out in terms of you going and using that. Technique.